Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Napo H. Barista, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, my approach to this coffee that I just roasted. So, today is Wednesday, Wednesday evening. I'm doing my typical routine, you know, brewing coffee. And I decided to share my brew method for this particular coffee. I decided to dust off my Yama Silver Ton uh, coffee brewer or tea brewer because it does both and try brewing this coffee with the uh, Yama Silver Ton. I got a really good tasting coffee several times consistently and so I thought it was worth sharing with you guys. Now I am not a fan of this guy. The reason why is because I feel like I get very good tasting coffee like the first two, three times, but I don't know, maybe something with the mesh. You have to like descale it um, every couple of days or every week because it kind of holds this flavor. It gives, it gives the coffee this taste that I just, I just can't stand. I don't like it. I don't fancy this filter, but I am using a filter that you can get at your local uh, supermarket. And this is the Makita coffee filter number four. I fold the bottom and then I fold the side. I place it in here and crease this. Press this down so that it fits the cylinder perfectly. Okay, so one thing you may notice is that this is not the vessel that the Yama Coffee Brewer comes with. This is actually the vessel of a Hario V60 pour over. Um, I accidentally broke the one that came with the Yama, so I'm using this one instead. I'm gonna start by closing this valve here and rinsing my paper filter. Perfect. We do this because we want to get rid of some of the papery uh, taste. I'll just slow my coffee hopper with some fresh coffee. Okay, so now I'm going to dose 20 grams of coffee into my little pitcher here. Okay, 20 grams exact. Okay, now I'm going to start brewing my coffee. Okay. So we're gonna start by pouring about 32 to 35 grams of water into our coffee. And then we're gonna let it steep for about 25 to 30 seconds to allow the coffee to bloom. At this time, the coffee is releasing gases. All right, so at this point, make sure the valve of the Yama glass is shut. We actually don't want water to flow through the coffee yet. This extraction will have a steep time of about three minutes. I want to pour in a circular motion to make sure all the grounds are in contact with water. Now I'm going to place my lid and wait three minutes. Okay, we just hit three minutes. It's time to open the valve and let the coffee drain out. Stuff. Okay guys, so remember, keep in mind that by using the valve of the Yama, you have an added variable. Now you can keep the valve open and pour your coffee as you would with any other pour over method like the Harvey OB60 or the Kalita Wave. You know, you just pour and let the coffee drain out. But when using the valve, you're steeping the coffee. Essentially, the same thing that you do when you French press the coffee or when you're using the AeroPress. All right, you're holding the coffee in water for a certain amount of time. Now, according to your grind size and the temperature of your water, the time varies. 
Okay, so if my grind size was a lot coarser than what it is now, and, and let's just say the temperature of the water is constant, I would have to have my coffee uh, steep a little longer to get the same intensity, um, maybe not the same flavors because grind size means a whole lot. But those are your variables. You have grind size, you have water temperature, you also have your bloom, okay, how long you let the coffee bloom and actually release these gases, and then um, how long your coffee is actually going to steep. This was a 1 to 16 ratio. It's 20 grams of coffee, 320 grams of water poured into it. Um, and then I just wait three minutes, open the valve, and let that coffee drain out. Guys, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope that this was uh, beneficial to you. Um, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share. If you're wondering what this is all about, it's just me sharing my passion in my home for a coffee with you guys. I'm in it to learn, and I'm also in it to just share what I know. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much. God bless. Peace.